Okay, now in this section, we're going to see different types of buffering in ArcGIS. And we're going to start off by just the common one. Okay, so to start buffering, control F. Yep, you need to just write here buffer. Okay, then go to this buffer analysis. Double click here. Okay, now the you need to select the layer on which layer you want to perform buffering. So I, let's say I would like to use this road. Okay, the location saving location buffer. Save that. Let's say I want to create a buffer zone of um, 30 meters around the roads. Okay. So 30, maybe it's a restricted zone. Okay, so okay, now close. Now you can see that we have made a 30 meter of buffer zone in, in the both, both side of the road. And this overlapping appearance isn't l looking great. So we can dissolve that. Let's just delete that one make another one so again we're going to select our road then location okay meters 30 meter and we want to dissolve the overlapping boundaries so here under this dissolve type you can specify all okay close that now you can see all the overlapping areas are gone that's fine so now let's see say that say for example I don't want same buffer zone for for all the all the road type maybe for highway I want 20 meter buffer zone and for um, village road I want 30 meter buffer zone so how do I do that to do that you need to modify your attribute table a bit so let's go to the mark attribute table of river or road sorry road yep here you can see the diameter of road now if it's a highway okay then diameter we said maybe it's for buffer zone 20 meter and if it's a village road and then we set it to you can see here 30 meter you can edit it by just what you want actually so let's now see how can we how do we deploy that so again go to buffer input the layer okay output location then we don't select this one now you're going to select this field okay now you're going to select the field which is going to participate in this buffering now diameter okay again um, dissolve all let's see how it turns okay oh no I have selected maybe this road that's why I just deployed on one road so remove that yeah unselect that then again go to buffer do the same thing again filled and diameter Show them all okay fine close now you can see this buffer zone is a bit smaller than this one because it's 20 meter and it's 30 meter so by this way you can make different buffer zone for different I would say um, feature class, not feature class actually, uh, symbology, road types, okay, different attributes. Now let's see another buffer method that is multiple ring. Let's say you want to make multiple buffer zones for one road, maybe for some different purpose. So let's see how can I do that. Remove that. Again, now we are going, not going to use this buffer analysis. We are now going to the toolbox. Yep. Here you can see this is the buffer one that we have used. 
now we are going to use this one multiple ring buffer okay now double click here input features our road output location okay now distance let's say I want to create a buffer zone of 10 meter then 20 meter and uh, 20 meter and another one of 30 meter okay okay default dissolve ball okay distance uh, unit meter okay let's see Hmm, now our buffer is now you can see we have three different classes 10 20 30 this is 10 this is 20 meter and this is 30 meter so that's it that's all I have got for you about buffer tool in ArcGIS so I hope I'll see you in my next video